Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? <laughs> you. You're the one you who's start. to get ready into it. Guys, I don't, I don't, I'm not good at this shit. Okay. Welcome, Redox. How's Wh everybody doing? What's good? Yes, sir. All right, let's go just like that. Maybe yeah. Carol should do the intro. All right, bet. Yo, family. Welcome. Today, we're doing the fourth Black Mirror episode. Oh, shoot. We're at Redox. Redox Cinema. <laughs> <laughs> Clap. <laughs> Hello, you beautiful people. Welcome back to another Redox Reaction. I am Abe Medeiros. I'm joined by Charlie Medeiros. And back by popular demand, Carolina Fernandez is with us. We do have a special guest off camera. Uh, Anna is here. My girlfriend is here. Anna, let's see a hand in the frame. She's not Mr. Fantastic. Oh, there, <laughs> oh, there it is. There, there it is. is. You saw the hand. fingertips. She is real, guys. I have a real girlfriend, I promise. <laughs> um, anyway, we're She's back with please. another uh, Black, Black Mirror episode. Um, this one is Maisie Day. Uh, bro, it's been a crazy crazy season well for, before we, we we get into that, how y'all doing y'all good how y'all have a good week yeah, yeah it's been uneventful but we're here damn well now we're watching black mirror so you're gonna so it'll be pretty eventful prepare right. to be evented uh, that's not a word cut no. cut <laughs> well, how about you how you doing i'm doing good man thanks uh, for having me back y'all yeah bro loving the love yeah and if you hated on me i saw it <laughs> <laughs> yeah anyway i'm turning a new leaf in my healing phase i'm not saying anything so anyway <laughs> moving on <laughs> Okay, she's unhinged. I'm unhinged. Yeah. Everyone's ready Can you for. Cut that? <laughs> I thought you said you're on. I thought you said you're on hinge. And I was like, you just introduced your girlfriend. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> We're all in such I different you were vibes. Having my forgiving era. <laughs> Navi, Navi's uh, watching this intro like, era. bro, what the hell are they what doing? I did this that. Train going right? on. Anyway, Navi, come back. You clearly are needed. Like, come on, now, bro. I can't keep doing this, bro. Please come back. If you're new here. Please consider subscribing, hit the like button, comment. Uh, if you only want to listen to our discussion portion on podcast format, we do uh, release that on Spotify and Apple Podcast. Here is the graphic. There is a link in the description below. Uh, if you wanted to listen to that there, you can find us uh, on that link. Yeah. It's been a it's been a crazy season. I think some people have been saying maybe it's a little less technology focused. I don't know mm. if I would completely agree with that, but... I feel like, uh, yeah, some uh, episode two was probably the least technology focused, but I think it was like a commentary on like media and like using media yeah. that is um, dark to entertain people and, you know, all the ramifications of that and all that stuff. But I see that. I've loved all the episodes. I think uh, if you guys give me a rank, oh, I think we ranked the last time. Uh, we, we did. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, episode two is still my favorite. Yeah. yeah. The Lock Henry. Mm -hmm. Still, still a dub, but uh, let's get into this other one. We only have two episodes left, which is sad. Um, but let's let's get into it and let's enjoy Maisie Day. Tom and Katie have issued a statement naming their new baby Surrey. Ooh. Tom Cruise's baby girl. Oh, with Katie Holmes. Oh, is that actually the kid's name? Yeah. Oh, thank you. See, this is why we have Carol. Yeah, thank you. JP. I've been You're sitting welcome. here for two hours, but there's no sign of him. Guys, what's her name? It's gonna make me upset. Isn't this Ariana DeBose? No, <laughs> no. Is that a joke? Uh, no, like that kind of looked like her. No, hundred percent. Not even close. You're telling me she doesn't look like the girl from West Side Story? Not to me. So much so. Uh -oh. Agency, I can pay for those pictures. Five hundred dollars? You're killing me. So is she paparazzi? I'm getting mm, something. Maybe. Or is she spying? She's definitely paparazzi, right? DV's Justin Camley enjoys a little afternoon delight with yeah. male body. Two fifty each. Two fifty? Come on, man. Three hundred. Camley hasn't been on TV in like four years. And he offered me five hundred. Okay, three each. Should have taken the money from the dude. Maybe she thought she was gonna get more. Soundtrack already going off. Sorry. I got paid. The new toy. <laughs> the iPod Shuffle. Yeah, I was. I was gonna ask. It seems like this is back a little bit. Yeah. So, early 2000s. You know, I don't like to judge other people's lifestyle choices. Mm. Uh oh. I Sounds like he's about to. Really delicate sinuses. And when you fry garlic and ginger, it just makes the whole apartment a little acrid. Yeah. Sure. I'll. Um. Yeah. I'll open the window, Nathan. Thank you so much. Yeah. Man's used to unseasoned. Unseasoned. <laughs> He's not used to the spices. <laughs> Ginger's just a root, brother. It's not that bad. Yeah. Mm. Oh my. Oh. Yikes. 
parents. That was quick. Yeah, I knew it was inevitable, right? The news was gonna break. Yeah. It was before it even came out, huh? Oh, we didn't see it come out. My limo guy says he's got Sydney Alberti in the back. Oh, this is the paparazzi gang. Right. Like, this is <laughs> all her friends are paparazzi. Yeah. Oh, they're just all hanging out for the same pick. It might not even be her friends. Well, they know each other, right? Hmm. Hello? Is that man trying to get a. He was taking that photo from a little too low of an angle. I love your sex tape! Damn. It's dark career path, honestly. Um, yeah, it's messed up. And honestly, I I wonder if they even really make that good of a living. Cause I mean, I guess it depends on what story you get and all that. Stuff yeah, I feel too, like but. one of the things with paparazzi is like it's quick money. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Depending on how big of a thing you get, you get a big payday quick. It's almost like sales, like it's commission type thing. Miss Katsumo, is everything all right? Oh my God, it's Scottish. It's a Scottish accent, guys. <laughs> this is a Scottish accent, in case you were wondering. Sorry, I don't want to piss off the Brits. What the hell's that? Shroom, shroom. Okay, let's go. Sorry, I just came intrusive thoughts. Came right up. That's kind of crazy. She just took it like that. Yeah, she's, she's acting like that shit tastes good. Twilight. Oh my God. Yikes. Oh, is it? Is our production, know, our production assistant Anna, Anna is feeding is us information. A pop culture queen. Yo, you know, yeah, Anna knows all this stuff. That's crazy. Jesus. Don't pick up the glass, bro. You're gonna cut yourself. <laughs> Called it. Saw that coming from a mile away. Oh, oh shoot. dang, girl. Really? Not smart. Especially in the rain? On shrooms, driving in the rain. And she was drinking. And she was drinking. She hit something. Someone hit her. Oh, no. no. Oops. Good. Good. At least yeah, check on them. Yeah, definitely the right thing to do. I know you're like not in the best no, state of mind. No, not. But the, the, the black girl's as he beats. My God, it was bothering me. Sorry, I had to look it up. I knew the na her name was on the tip of my tongue. She's pulling up at the scene? I think they're trying to leave and they can't use the tunnel. Bro, this closed. I go around. What did he, what did he say? Found man in the road. Man? Mm. They think hit and run. Oh man, so she didn't really do much. Oh, like when she got out the car, she didn't mm -hmm. help him. Yeah, she didn't yeah. help him. Well, she probably realized he was dead already. That and the fact that she was high, high and drunk. Mind. Yeah. It's been two whole weeks since May's day started the Everwish saga. Abruptly left the set of the third installment of the franchise. So she uh -oh. quit the production. This is really hard for me. Oh my God. <laughs> he wrote it down. I'm not good at confrontation, so my therapist suggested that I use cue cards. Oh my god. I don't want to laugh, but oh my god. As you know, your share of the rent is late. Oh. And I have noticed groceries disappearing from my clearly marked personal shelf in the fridge. And while I truly value our friendship, <laughs> please, I do not feel it is appropriate for me to financially support. Okay, I'll get the money. Thank you. All right, I feel bad for him. Shouldn't be Honestly, I think he ate down. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, he... He mm, ate down that, uh, that boundary yeah. that he needed to set. Yeah, good job, Nathan. Which can be I really thought, hard. I thought he was going to complain about the spices the smell. Again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought he was going to come out with some stupid <laughs> shit. No. She's not paying her rent and eating your groceries. That's bad. Like I said, heck, I'm out. Oh, she I'm stopped. I'm to you back in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you're scared of the competition. <sighs> What is he in? I think he's a child actor. Okay, so Maisie Day is the name of the girl that yes. dropped out of the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. gonna be her like getting convinced to do another. And getting her She's back gonna paparazzi. Discover. Shoot. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's what it is. He's fanboy from Top Gun. Okay. Thirty k. Thirty k. Oof. Forty. If you catch her looking like a junkie, I've been um, hitting up all my peeps, but no leads, nothing, nada. You um, still keep in touch with your snitch? A snitch. So this is very tempting for her because you know just had her roommate complain about rent. Yeah, I mean Dude, she's got like a thirty need. k. It's a lot of money. It's a Maybe lot of 40, money, bro. Maybe forty. Oh, um, I think I have some money in my purse. It's okay. Mr. G said while you're a guest in his house, he's left money to cover everything. Mr. G. Who's Mr. G? Oh shoot. 
All right, she's gonna snitch. Oh, she's the snitch. What the? Probably. Oh shoot, forgot it's 2006. Yeah. <laughs> Still got dial up. Yeah, well you can give me a call at this number as she pops by again. Well, let me know if that changes. And call me here if anything changes. See, if this was set like today, it might have been way it's easier so much to, easier find to her. find her. Yeah, true. So that's probably why they set it in the past. Yeah, or so. fair. Hmm. Mm. Maisie Day's a fan, huh? <laughs> oh. She says she orders here every week. Mm-hmm. She so does. Saw her yesterday. Really? She's staying at some like producer's oh, house. So she's not her. No, no, she's she not. She did that up but, real easy. But she found her because she was the one who delivered. She doesn't even know she's paparazzi. Could have given you like 3K, bro. Could have made 3K off that information. When the music starts, you know. <laughs> yeah, especially this type of. Caught on the music. It's Me like, and the music. They score this like really this. well. They score this really well. Oh my God. Mm. Oh, did you peep that? She didn't even walk back up to the guy. She walked out of the yeah, car and immediately him. back in. Yeah. Oh. Just, oh, because she was looked at stupid him. Stupid high. Well, back. yeah, but she didn't even go over there. Oh, she missed. Yeah, yeah she, she missed a little entry asleep, there. Falling asleep on the job. Shame. So who's Mr. G? That's what I want to find yeah, out. Yeah. Um, Mr. Hey? That too. Oh, did she get caught doing drugs? Something's going on. Oh, oh. Jesus. She trashed the house? Yikes. Right, now, rampage. Maisie, as a guest. Mm, it's Mr. G. But this is uh, this is what she wants to capture right now for that 40K. Yeah, true. This is the ideal moment for that payday. Mm -hmm. First step is to recognize that it has taken you over, and you must be humble in the face of it. I've arranged a place that we can take you, private, out of town, for just for a few days. You need isolation away from anyone and anything. Dr. Babbage, can you get me better? What's about getting you through tonight? And then the next night, and then we see. Okay. She needs rehab is what she needs. She and maybe needs jail. to confess that sin. Yeah, and, true, then... true. and maybe a little bit of jail. <laughs> yeah. A little window mounted GPS. I was uh, going to say, remember those days? The TomTom yes. Tom GPS. TomTom Tom GPS. Remember getting directions off of MapQuest? Oh my God. So I literally printed a MapQuest this week. What the hell? Why? Why? Like, isn't that crazy? <laughs> That's weird. For a guy, for, still exist. for one of our PMs, he was like, can you MapQuest it and print it out? And I was like, oh my oh, God. What? That's, That's kind of adorable. Sure. That's kind of adorable. And then, and, um, he got it and he was like, Wow, that's some directions, eh? I was like, Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Could have just uh, GPS it, bro. Hey, man, he prefers map quests. Leave him alone. I'm pretty sure he threw him out. Like, I, I don't <laughs> think he needed that map quest, but I'm gonna let him have it. I'm so dead. This is one of those Black Mirror episodes that I don't, I have no idea where this is gonna end. Mm. You know what I mean? It's not one of those ones that you're like, mm, I can, I can kind of see where this is going. Of course, he's not gonna bring her inside. Oh. Mm. Oh, shit. Oh. Hey. What the fuck? Damn it! Yeah, you think they're stupid? He was a savage too. He could have just done one, but he did all four times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wonder what Nathan's up to. Definitely not frying garlic and ginger, but you know, he's reading a book or something. You think Nathan's gonna come into play somehow? Mm, no. No. I feel like he's probably just enjoying his <laughs> non fragrant apartment. <laughs> Is there a motel? within crawling distance uh the only place near here is the cedarwood retreat that's really more like a rehab place oh yeah but for like rich hippie types you know that's exactly where she's gonna find her yep uh kyle that's my uncle most days he's a masseuse there he says someone hired the entire complex for the weekend all the staff sent home so it's empty ultra private the whole place for like one person the whole time renting out the whole rehab center is crazy she's getting real lucky with finding these informations though mm -hmm. like you know Very what i mean she's so. ending up at the very convenient yeah but i also think like at the time people were way more inclined to just like talk and be like oh yeah this is happening uh, blah blah, blah. Yeah. now people are like yeah that's a long ass ride we don't have time for a soda you want a soda or you want Maisie day yeah that's what i thought thank you mm. he's already sketched out Whoa. what the hell is their plan bro security must be like crazy no maybe all the staff is sent home so there's nobody no, but one person there she's rich maybe she has her own security team probably yeah but i don't know i'm just waiting for this to turn into like a horror thriller just <laughs> yeah man it's been like that every single episode so far is that witty's car oh boy uh all the paparazzi are gonna know the gang's all here <laughs> hey ladies <laughs> where'd you put it huh underneath my seat oh, where's what your fucking trackers what i think of it as an unpaid informant it's under the gas thing Two chunks of shit. Like you've never popped one under a limo. Jesus. 
easy. They're gonna uncover some like disturbing yeah, shit in there, probably. Something that they shouldn't have found, you think? Probably. Yeah, maybe. Guys, clearly, she's in a secured ass facility. True. Nobody's supposed to find her. No, no, yeah, for sure. I, I mean something different something, that's like beyond yeah. her, just her. I think may I'm my mind is going to torture. Mm. That I was thinking that as well. It's either one of those outcomes, but then again, every time I try to guess, yeah, <laughs> don't try to guess, man. Stop, stop yeah. giving us your Why do you even do that, Charlie? Like, Chill out. all right, oh, do we have to keep <laughs> guessing throughout the whole episode. Damn, <laughs> we can't be critical thinkers throughout throughout the freaking episode. No, bro, Damn. just shut up and watch. That's like, why people literally? want to see. I'm supposed to turn off my brain. Am I watching a Marvel film? <laughs> <laughs> Cut. That's her doctor. Mm -hmm. Okay, my friends, that's Dimitri Babbage, specialist doctor to the stars. Ah, uh, the big addiction guy. My guess is she's on crystal meth. More like coke. Isn't Babbage into like holistic voodoo or some shit? Is he even a doctor? That all might be onto some of the torture um... stuff that she's talking about. Do you think they know that they're there? I mean, they did walk up to. Oh my God. When they walked up to the fence, there was a security camera there, but I don't know. Right. Is that her? Is that a fucking chain around her neck? Kinky shit. What? Oh my god, bro, this is horrible. Wow, they're terrible. Guys, she's burning up. You gotta go. Oh Jesus. Stop! She's chained to the floor! They say I gotta bail him. Gotta get through this alone. They say a lot of shit! Goats. What's what happening in this place, bro? Get the fuck away from me! You don't understand! Yo, this is horrifying. No! Run! Run away! What the fuck? Oh my god, is she gonna turn into a werewolf or some shit? <laughs> like, what is this? I have no idea. I'm really confused. Oh! What? She is oh, gonna turn tripping? into a she was werewolf. Tripping. Just go! No, oh, she's like contorting, bro. She's like, see? Hello? Oh, fuck. We have to go. I mean, this is the one time that I'd be taking pictures because what the hell? Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell did this turn into? Okay, Twilight, you predicted. What the hell? <laughs> I guess that's why the goats are there. Is that for her to eat? I guess. Oh good girl. You are done for. <laughs> All right, this is not, this is a left field for Black Mirror. Holy, wow. Remember when I said what I didn't know where this was so going? I definitely didn't know where what? this was going. <laughs> what the hell? How did we get to a werewolf? As soon as I saw the shot of the moon and whatever, I was like, bro, telling me it's a werewolf. Oh no, he's stuck. Oh no. I'm gonna get pulled. Bro, you made it through the first time. They're, gonna pull, they're gonna pull half his body, watch. What are you doing? He shot her worth a million each, bro. A million each. Ooh. I'm just curious, what the hell does this have to do with her running some dude over? Unless we didn't see the entire picture the first she time. She ran over a, a, a wolf. She ran over a wolf. And got bit by it. Oh, yeah. okay. What? I missed that piece. Yeah. I missed that whole piece. When she was reaching at it, you could see it was a wolf and it bit her. Oh. Oh my God. It's going to be that. the one town yeah, sheriff that exists in this uh, place. Of course. Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> whoa, whoa. What? Uh, uh, what is. Hey, uh, come in. It's out there. They could be coming this way. We need to block the door. Ma'am, what has happened? What, oh, ma'am, ma'am, calm down. Please just call for help. Calm down. I think he's gonna jump through the window. Mm -hmm. Calm down. Take a it's few deep breaths. Off, settle so. down and explain to me what has happened. Oh, I will do that momentarily, ma'am. But first, I need to understand the this. No, 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 no. Oh, okay, back up, back up. Oh, she oh, she back up, officer. Bro, are we sure we're watching Black Mirror? What the hell is going on? <laughs> Bro, you have a gun. Shoot it. <laughs> the lady goes with a chair. The cop still hasn't fired. Yeah. Was that fanboy? A little too late, buddy. Is yeah. he dead? He's gone. He's Damn. Gone. Cop is next. 
He shot, shot the, the guy. guy. Grab it, grab it, grab it, girl, grab it. I don't think the gun's gonna help. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's something though. Better than nothing. Ooh, maybe it did help. Jesus. There it is. Is she gonna turn back? Out. Well, I don't remember what it is about uh, werewolves. Like vampires, it's a stake through the heart. What is werewolves? A silver bullet? Something, something like, like that, that, yeah. Now she has pictures of the crime scene too. She has everything. She's gonna take a picture of her, isn't she? Please. What a fucking dilemma. Yeah, I'm smart. Jesus Christ. Oh my God, please no. Just take the photo at this point. Yeah, we knew it. Jesus, bro. That's freaking dark. Well, that was different. Oh, this one was, whoa. That one was very different. What the hell? But I understand the dilemma at the end because she's, she either, you know, lets her live, you know, because she sympathizes with her or whatever, but she lives a life of embarrassment, shunning, whatever. Yeah. Um, I mean, to be honest, at that point, she probably wouldn't even, she would be like locked up forever anyway, probably. Yeah, she'd she's be a, getting tested and yeah. I was gonna whatever. Say she's going to be tested. She's going to become a lab rat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But she was already kind of locked up too, so it wasn't, might have not been too much different. Mm. This is a really left field episode from Black Mirror, I feel like. Like very, very different. Because I feel like we don't usually see like a mythical fantasy yeah. sort of element in Black Mirror episodes, unless I, people are probably going to comment and say that, oh man, you forgot this episode. And actually, please do that. If we do, if we did forget, but off the top of my head, I cannot think of one that has ever brought in some sort of like fantasy no. elements outside of like, what's more technologically frightening. Yeah. I don't think or I've like seen enough to know, world. but yeah. Because yeah. someone was commenting, I think it was the first episode that we po uh, we posted. Someone had commented like, dang, this season doesn't feel like, you know, Black Mirror. Like, they, they didn't really dive into some of the technical mm -hmm. technological aspects. And I feel like up to this point, the only one that I would say that to is maybe episode two. But I still kind of got the media aspect of it. Mm -hmm. And there is some elements of it here because, you know, it's uh, paparazzi and all that but still i feel like this is a little bit more removed from technology than anything else this was completely removed yeah, from yeah. The technology thing. Didn't and there's no explanation to well i guess there is to how she got to be a wolf but yeah that was really. so no yeah there also was... we missed the wolf part i completely missed that part i don't no, I saw know if you got that. I, no, I saw I saw her going up to the wolf but i didn't it didn't click for me that she got bit by a wolf i thought she was just hallucinating Cause it's like, I don't know, she was on shrooms or whatever. I wolf the whole time. I don't know what I was looking at. No, I, it only I showed at the end. She hit a person. Yeah, I thought so too. But it, they showed, it showed right up, it right at the end. might have been and then what? They like turned into a wolf? Yeah, I mean, I guess, Maybe I guess it was a werewolf passing it to another one. Yeah. She was driving in the middle of the night. So True. Yeah, it makes much more sense that it was a wolf, but. Like a wolf and wolf. she had like that cut on her finger. Right. So like blood transfer. Oh, maybe that was a key to that, but. Cause like I don't. I'm just trying to think like how. I don't know. I don't know. Strange, strange episode. Definitely one of the strangest Black Mirror episodes I think I've ever seen. Out of left field. Very out of left field compared to but I the liked it. other one. Did you? Yeah. Uh, overall, I I think it's good. It was entertaining. I just yeah. don't know if it fits. Right. It doesn't feel like Black Mirror. Yeah. If that makes sense. Maybe Charlie Brooker's running out of ideas for like how he can the make tech it. stuff. Yeah, because I guess one way that I could say this is like if you really if you want to dig deep deep into this and, and uncover the like her work and kind of a commentary on paparazzi and kind of a, a commentary on like what will you do to get that picture? What will you do to to mm -hmm. make ends meet in this way, in this horrible way? Like the more you chase it, the more you uncover like horrible truths and like horrible things that can happen. I guess that is very much exemplified here, but I did not think that this was the route that they were going to take with yeah. this. Yeah, but also compromising like her morals, essentially like a moral, like essentially no moral compass at the end because yeah, even though Maisie was basically like, yeah, just do it, you know, take the freaking picture. You're going to be rich. It's like, damn. You're like taking a picture of someone in their lowest moment. That whole interaction shouldn't have happened in the first place. Right. She was locked up for a reason. Now we understand. 
Yeah, you thought they were That's up to something the nefarious. Yeah, they had to. Yeah. And they yeah. were actually helping her. Yeah. 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 It feels like they're definite. It's a definite commentary on paparazzi, like one thousand percent. I think what Anna is saying is facts. It's the, the, the lengths that people will go to to be able to uncover whatever just for a payday is kind of insane. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we've seen people bother families, right? Like we've seen people like wait outside of you know nightclubs and whatever to catch people at their lowest moment or catch them slipping. But like, I'm sure this is not. You know, this has happened in real life, waiting at a rehab facility, whatever. But I guess this is kind of like a, you don't know the horrors that you will uncover and mm -hmm. chasing after that will eventually inevitably lead you to somewhere you don't want to be. Right. And potentially dead. Um, and I'm I am now picking up on like the clues that happened prior in the episode um, as to the fact that she's a werewolf because she like wrecked the freaking house mm. and the maid comes yeah. in and she's like what the hell happened right that's when the doctor comes in to visit and she's like can you make me better and he's like let's try to get through tonight first mm. Mm. you know and that's when he knew she was gonna turn essentially so. right right and that's why he knew tonight because i thought that was ominous when he first said it. i was like this is weird right like yeah. i feel like he should be more encouraging and whatever but he almost mm -hmm. sounded like you're a danger to yourself and like he whatnot. Knew it was yeah. a full moon. Right, yeah. He, yeah, he exactly. knew it was going to pop off tonight. <laughs> yeah. And it did. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. That's and crazy. Very crazy. Um, and explains why they bought out the whole freaking scent. The rec, uh, the right, so nobody else yeah. could get hurt. Yeah, right. And, and they left strategically right before. Like, Well, I guess you couldn't really know that the clouds were going to. Right. Mm -hmm. True. Move, True. She hadn't turned, at least. Right. Yeah. You, you. You. It made you wonder why the hell everyone around her is leaving. Right. Like, all these people are leave, like at the facility. Like, oh, her doctor's leaving. The security mm -hmm. guy's leaving. Like, what the hell are they leaving her alone? Why is she chained to whatever? And then you get the big reveal, and you're like, what the hell? Right. And it makes to your sense. point of like, did do they know they're there? I feel like they did know they they were there. And almost maybe hoped, at least the guy that um, popped the tires mm -hmm. was like, okay, I tried to stop you. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Now what are you going to find? Go ahead. Maybe they did know, maybe they didn't know. But even if they did, it clearly, like, it shows that they knew un well enough to not stick around no matter what. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Because they were going to get themselves into trouble. Yeah. So. What do you guys think of uh, her decision to take that final shot? Like that final picture. Like, what do you think? Uh, what do you think is going through her head at that moment? Well, it. That's what I was. That's why I was saying it's a tough dilemma because she is choosing whether to, you know, make that money and be financially stable right. for once, or put this person's life just destroy it. Mm -hmm. You know. But I think in the end there was like a mutual agreement between both of them as to like, you know, she was like, "You can take the photo, but I want to die." Mm -hmm. she didn't want to keep living the way she was living through that whole you know issue with being a werewolf <laughs> right and i think yeah. it was almost a the way i saw it was she she had kind of already been through all of this like she watched all these people die whatever like it's almost like if you don't take advantage of this moment right now to get this payday which sounds horrible like you you're getting nothing out of this entire horrifying horrible experience mm -hmm. that's a and then B is the fact that like she tried to leave the paparazzi life, got brought back in and then kind of realized that like this is this is her. Like this is also the, the other things are of the paparazzi and, you know, catching someone at their lowest mm -hmm. moment. The other thing I'm picking up on now, too, is the very beginning of the episode. She had that opportunity where the guy was like, you know, a trade off, like I'll pay you for the photo, whatever. Mm -hmm. and she didn't accept it. And he went and killed himself. And now. Right. There, there was a, a mutual trade-off in the end. She was like, you give me the gun, let me end my life, you can have the photo. Yeah. Thing. But it still resulted in someone losing their life. Now that you mention that, though, it's almost like a, there's definitely a clear parallel there. But I almost wonder if it's like she's becoming numb to, I mean, obviously the werewolf shit you can't get over. <laughs> like that, That's like a yeah. whole other thing. But like she's numb to, like she's done this before, basically. Mm. Like almost inadvertently put... That made this this yeah, actor yeah. guy put his put a gun to his head, and now she's physically giving the I, gun to somebody. I would say they, like, yeah. I would say that if you work in that line of work, you do become numb to, to people's yeah. emotions, to yeah. the fact that they're human, right? They have a life. 
uh, there's no privacy for them. Yeah, and they're gonna go after everything to try to get that that photo and break some news. Yeah, TMZ style. You know, I'm yeah. a, I'm a pretty like balanced person in the sense of like I can usually see both sides of people doing whatever. But paparazzi is one that I have a really hard time with, man. Like I feel mm-hmm. like, I mean, I get why they do what they do. It's just like to me, it's so it's so dirty that I can't even like, yeah, I, I can't even justify it in my brain anyway. Not to hate on people. If that's your job, it's your job, I guess. But yeah, it's just a it's a tough life to live for both both sides. I'm sure I'm sure there's plenty of people too who like this this girl, like Bo, like deal with the psychological challenges of feeling like a piece of shit anytime you you know do something and see someone kill themselves or see that it came out and now they're in rehab and they're struggling or whatever. You know what I mean? So I feel like it also goes back to the comment that the the guy who put the tracker, he was like, they choose to be actors. They choose to put themselves in this position. Mm. We're just doing our job. We're just like, whatever. And to your point of like the numbness, it's also like acceptance. It's my job. I choose to do this, but they also choose to do that. And maybe, okay, she never chose to become a werewolf. We get that. Right. But like... Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'm forming that correctly, but no, I'm trying I, to get to. Yeah, I know what you're, I know what you're getting at is like, the, in, in her case, it will, it was like, she didn't really choose to, to become a werewolf, but like all of the fame and whatever around them, like, it's kind of like an othering, right? Mm-hmm. Like the paparazzi are like the, the other in the sense, or like they're the lower rung and they look, they look at these like rich people and whatever, they see them as snobby, arrogant and whatnot. I think there was a clear class distinction that they showed in this in that sense but mm-hmm. it was uh it was still like regardless it's still crazy to like see someone at their lowest and still take advantage of that like i feel like that's that's just crazy to me but at that point she had done so much no 100 percent. that's that's what i'm that saying photo is like, was not it wasn't anything more than than what had already done. happened right yeah and that's like really messed up even to say but but it's, it's true the truth like mm-hmm. she had already done what she did right and she was gonna die regardless like she really was so i think the girl was just like all right well she just wanted to put her out of her misery right Right. yeah and she and she got the you know all the photos that they took like kind of told the story from beginning to end like they found her in this room she turned into a werewolf and then at the end she turned back so the final picture was basically the conclusion that's the thing it's like i'm gonna wrap this up i have to wrap this up like i'm doing my job but it's crazy because she wild. showed throughout the episode like how she started was starting to feel sympathy. But then mm-hmm. at the end of the day, when the guy was like, "Hey, this is a thirty to forty k job," yeah, I think and I, real life came a knocking because yeah. Nathan was like, "Girl, you gotta pay." Right. Yeah. And 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 like in the moment, like when she was turning in the room, she was like, "Stop taking the photos, whatever." Yeah. And she was the one who was breaking into to the room to try to you know see what was Getting going her on. Getting out of she the chain. Chained. Uh, so she was like having sympathy, but then I think towards, you know, when they're escaping and then the, the other paparazzi guy gets stuck and then, uh, Hector's like, Hey, the, these photos are worth a million each. That's probably when, you know, in her head, she turned off all the sympathy yeah, and was just like, I'm chasing the bag. Right. I guess at the, at the other end that you can look at this is really honing on the class aspect of it and be like, okay, well, paparazzi are shitty people. Like. She's clearly struggling for money and yeah, you know. she was a barista and a paparazzi. At the and same maybe she set, thought right? like, this will set me. I don't have to do it ever again. Right. I'm done. Yeah. This is my last one. Yeah. It's I never thought your I was last done, one. but it, it, that's the thing. She thought she was done. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. It's messed up. How do y'all see this in terms of stacking up to the other episodes? Do you like it better than any of the other ones or? I mean, now that we like discussed it, clearly there's a lot of layers there. Yeah. Um, and it's a lot more than just the surface level stuff like it's a werewolf horror thing right 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 um there always is more to dig into it's a really it's a really solid episode with really good themes in it it just didn't feel like black mirror yeah Mm -hmm. i agree i agree yeah i think you put that perfectly and that's that's the only reason for me that it's like last on the list of these episodes because Mm -hmm. it really didn't feel like black mirror to me in that sense but i mean there i guess there have been some episodes we were talking earlier about the first ever episode black mm-hmm. mirror with the black male and all that but even then like there's the, the technological aspect of like blackmailing somebody in the age of media and whatever all that stuff but i guess right. i guess that's similar here but it's very the the technological aspect is very light is very mm-hmm. minor and in, it's like interesting how um the one episode three 
what was it called? The uh, sea? Beyond the Sea. Yeah. It was set in the 60s, but the technology was super advanced. Mm -hmm. And this they deliberately chose to keep it. Yeah. Like, exactly how. And they did that with Locke Henry. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and, they and, did. And they've done that a couple of times. But yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting. But Black Mirror is clearly one of those shows that does not have rules for like the world and what what they set as form of technology it's kind of mm -hmm. like they throw you in and it's like all right this is this exists and that's that this, this is the world but that's the thing too because like some of our audience was mentioning like uh there are other episodes that make it tie in so that it, it's like basically the same universe right mm -hmm. it makes it obvious too that it's the same universe right this is the one that i wasn't able to pick it up so if anybody else picked it up that it belongs i yeah i'm curious for the I, I didn't see it we must have we must have missed yeah, it i just I didn't know. see it very interesting yeah this is my this is my i still enjoyed it. i was definitely entertained don't get me wrong it was good tv i just don't mm -hmm. yeah I don't, I, in the black mirror grand scheme of things i don't this one doesn't really stick out to me to 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 you know really fit the theme of the right of the show but i, mean, I think it. it really just honed in on the whole mind fuck thing as opposed to the yeah. horror that the rest of the season was going for yeah but this was just i do agree that it was so out there like i i've Very. never seen that for black mirror no. like what what are we watching but but that's what i'm saying but, it almost it almost leaned into like a like a very classic horror element of like werewolves you know what i mean mm -hmm. like it was, it was that was a, a interesting touch for me because i i do think they've been very good with like the psychological horror and whatever but this was like no there's a monster which i was like okay that's true that's very on the nose it's very you know true uh out right in your face of like this is this is the issue um so yeah it is what it is i'm curious to see how they end it because that really took a left turn so will they bring it back to the technological piece in the final episode i guess we will find out thank you so much for watching we will see you next time for the final episode of season six of black mirror peace Thank you.